Hey guys, what's up? KLN here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today we are going to be doing a Fire Roberto Firmino review. So it's 5 foot 11 tall, high high work rate, 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot, right footed primarily with the controlled explosive acceleration type and I picked him up for just around 420,000 coins. This is the sentiment version, so he can play in sentiment and sentiment only. Looking at the attribute details, I've gone with the Hunter Kemp style because I want him to be the more attacking of my midfielders. When it comes down to the pace, it's going to go up to 92. Shooting looks pretty good. 93 attack positioning with 89 finishing, 86 shot power, 81 long shots is decent enough. And he does have 96 volleys and 85 penalties. Passing looks pretty good. 90 short pass and 89 vision, the key stats there. Long pass at 82 is not too bad either. Dribbling is the best part of the card, 91 ball control, 91 dribbling and 91 composure, the standout stats in that department. Defending is actually pretty good as well, 83 stand tackle with 99 heading accuracy and 75 interceptions. When it comes down to the physical, it's got 89 stamina, 78 strength and 80 aggression. And it's got 88 jumping with him being 5 foot 11 tall and having 99 heading accuracy. I'm expecting the aerial ability on this card to be pretty good. Just a quick look at the play styles before heading into the gameplay highlights. I'm going to play them at sentiment and sentiment only. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with 88 rated fire Roberto Firmino. So heading into the first clip of this match, Firmino wins back possession and gets it into Salah. I don't think this guy is playing, but his defenders are defending anyway. So I'm going to go for the Trevella shot just to test out the shooting on the card. And we do end up scoring the first goal of this video. Not something I'm proud of. Like I said, I don't think this guy was playing. But anyway, he is playing now, Ramirez gets it into Firmino, who turns his man, it comes out here to Salah, who gives it back to Firmino, trying to see if we can just create a chance here with some good dribbling, he just watches me dribble for some reason, and then switches back to Van Dijk, and the finish at the end of it from Salah is brilliant, that guy was covering the cutback, and we went for the finish shot. Here Salah gets it back into Firmino here with some great dribbling, can he get his way into the box? Yes he can, and um, I expected him to move Casillas across the goals. But he didn't and we do get taken out and it is a penalty. So from the penalty spot, I'm going to take it with Firmino, Panenka down the middle and we do end up scoring beautiful finish from Firmino, fully expecting him to score the penalty and the signature celebration to go with it as well. Moving on to the next match of this video, we are 1-0 up. Here Firmino with some excellent dribbling here, just trying to see if he can create a chance, gets it into Martinelli, gives it back to Firmino, superb dribbling and... Maybe I shouldn't have gone for the chip shot. Maybe I shouldn't have. If I just placed it, we would have ended up with a goal there. But here Firmino, right place at the right time. After we win the ball back, he's able to get that pass onto our next player. And well, he's able to just continue his run, get into the box. Lovely pass by Salah. Headed across goal perfectly by Firmino. Just between Schmeichel and Van Dijk. And Dalglish is there with the volley. Onto the next goal, a penalty from Firmino yet again. This time we're going to go left. Well, to keep it went left, we went right. And we do end up scoring. So of course this is a sentiment card and his transition ability from defense to attack is a crucial point of this card and just an example of that here is able to turn and wriggle out from a tight spot and get that pass forward into for some reason my center back who was chilling higher up than my attacking midfielder but here an assist from Firmino good pass into Dalglish and the finesse shot is brilliant at the end of it. Here Allison gets it into Kenny Dalglish again he finds Firmino great dribbling here can he score he somehow misses the target and that is a problem with this card more often than not he will end up getting into a position to score and he will just end up putting it wide he did that at least four or five times i just included one example in this video so you guys know exactly what i'm talking about that was that example but anyway about the previous clip good tackle to win back possession and a pretty good cross into Dalglish, who does end up getting Firmino an assist Speaking of defensive capabilities, here he comes in with a good interception, sticks to him like glue, and again, showcasing the transition ability on the card, able to take the ball forward and get that pass into Martinelli, who gets that pass into Salah, who does end up scoring, and that was the last clip of this video. So, with that being said, it is time now to review the card. And honestly, bear in mind, I played this card at centre mid for majority of this review. I think I played him as striker for 45 minutes, didn't really do much good. He was able to create chances, but he wasn't really getting into goal scoring opportunities. From centre mid though, he's managed 4 games, 3 goals and 5 assists. So 8 goal contributions in 4 games from centre mid is honestly pretty good. Now, just a quick review of the attribute details. The pace on the card with the Hunter Kemp style is honestly pretty good. It's able to drive through teams in that midfield position and pretty easily run away from defenders when he does get one-on-one -on -one with them. So pace on the card with the Hunter Cam style is pretty good. I recommend 
using the Hunter or the Shadow Chemstyle on this card, but with the pace, I'm going to go ahead and give him an 8.7 out of 10. Shooting is mid. Honestly, sometimes you'll score, sometimes you'll miss. It's literally hit or miss with this guy. So, shooting does get an 8.3 out of 10. It's not great. He did miss a lot of chances that I fully expected him to score. And he didn't really score any chances that I didn't expect him to score. So, shooting is not great, but it's not horrible. 8.3 out of 10. Passing on the card is phenomenal. The short passing, the through balls, the long passing with the incisive pass plus playstyle that he does have is very very good he can carve open defenses as you guys have seen throughout this video and that's why he has the five assists so passing does get an 8.7 out of 10 dribbling is phenomenal he keeps the ball very close to his body he's got some strength and aggression to his game as well so he can hold off players while dribbling so dribbling does get a 9.1 out of 10 defending is honestly pretty good he's able to make interceptions able to make stand tackles win the ball back He's more often than not in the right place at the right time. So defending gets a 7.7 out of 10. And physical is pretty good. He lasts a full 90. But if you are playing around with him as I was for the full 90 minutes, he will obviously get tired. But that was for the sake of the review. So honestly, stamina does last the whole game. Jumping is pretty good. He wins headers. As you guys saw, he got that assist from the one. So honestly, physical on the card is pretty good. 8.4 out of 10. All in all, is this card worth the 420k you would pay for him? Yes, 100% I think is a very good card. I really recommend it for your team. If you guys rock the Saudi League or have a lot of Brazilians in your team like I do, then honestly, go ahead and get this card. It's very good. Great box-to-box -box player. If you want to have him, well, more as a box-to-box -box rather than attacking type of midfielder, go for the Shadow Cam style. And honestly, I don't think the Hunter makes that much of a difference when it comes down to the shooting because he misses chances anyway. So that is my thoughts and opinions on the card. And with that being said, I do bring an end to this video. If you like this, smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until then guys stay tuned for the next one peace